In this video, we are going to learn what is freelancing and understand why you should do freelancing, especially in the time of pandemic. Hey everybody, my name is Isham Server. I'm a freelancer. I'm a freelance instructor who teaches freelancing, blogging, social media marketing, digital marketing, importance of having a YouTube channel, and most importantly, getting views on your YouTube channel. And I also talk about the importance of having digital products. In this series of different videos, as well as different playlist that talks about different skill set on my channel, you're gonna learn everything I've just talked about in detail. But for now, let's just answer the question, why is freelancing so important in this time of pandemic? What essentially is freelancing? Let's just answer the question. What is freelancing and why you should do freelancing? Now to answer this question, a freelancer is the one who is self-employed, works from the comfort of couch at home, is not hired by somebody to do nine to five job every single day, Monday to Friday, doesn't get paid a monthly or a weekly uh, salary, and they work on, on their own work hours, bid on the projects, get work from different contractors, and once they get the job done, they get paid. It's as simple as that. They choose their own work hours, they choose their own price, and they choose who they work with. There's a lot of freedom here. There's a stats that says that about 50 million plus Americans are doing freelancing. Now, this is a huge number, especially when you talk about pandemic that has uh, taken the world by the storm ever since March 2020. Why are so many people opting to choose freelancing? Is that because of freedom? Is that because of uh, economic problems? Is that because of there are no jobs, nine to five fixed full-time jobs that pay you uh, insurance and that takes care of your health and that takes care of your fringe benefits? Is that because people think that they can actually make more money when they work for themselves rather than working for somebody? Whatsoever the reason is, the truth is, a lot of people are choosing freelancing, especially Generation Z. Now, Gen Z are the people who are pretty much, you know, uh, they, they, they like a freestyle work environment. And uh, they do not want people surrounding them who are bossy, who, you know, who dictate them. So therefore, Gen Z is more inclined towards freelancing. Now, there's zillion types of freelancing. A freelancing means you're self-employed. You could be a playback piano artist. You could be a guitarist. Um, you could be a drummer. You could be uh, a tutor. You could be an insurance guy. You could be anything. But in this video series, I'm going to talk about digital freelancing that's related to the use of computers, laptops, and sometimes mobile phone as well. So, when it comes to digital freelancing, there are two types of freelance marketplaces. One is traditional freelance marketplace, the other being non-traditional freelance marketplace. Now, in a traditional freelance marketplace, clients come in, they post a project that identifies a problem, and freelancers, if that project matches their skill set, they bid on the project, just like the normal auction bidding. In the case of non-traditional freelance marketplaces, there's only one called Fiverr.com. Clients come in, they do window shopping of different gigs, commonly known as services. And once they like a gig, they place an order based on their price, based on their thumbnail, based on their description of the gig. Nonetheless, digital freelancing is taking a huge surge in importance and a lot of people are heading towards freelancing. If you do not know who I am, you may want to Google it, but I would like to take a moment and introduce myself. I'm a freelancer who has done over 
1 million dollars in sales on one of the world's largest freelance marketplace called guru.com i'm from pakistan and uh, that's where uh, i have made a lot of living but if you are from asia or any third world country there's a silver lining for you that you can take away from my journey and that is you can make good freelance money while you are still living in a third world country this gives a lot of encouragement right that you can work from your home all you need is a decent internet connection all you need is a good computer and an ability to communicate with the clients which takes me to the very important point the importance of communication if you learn how to communicate with the clients and that's in english because english is a international business language if you learn how to speak right in english as warren buffett says that if there's one advice he could give to young college grads that would be work on their communication skills oral and written because that's one skill that could help you go places in life so learn communication skills and then answering the question why freelancing in the time of pandemic look a lot of small businesses have shut down or forced to shut down in us a lot of small businesses have filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy us elections are just around the corner and by the time you watch this video there's a good chance that we have a us president elected for the next 4 years who will assume oval office now that being said the pandemic has shown us a one way of working and that's working online many people small businesses even big corporates they are understanding the importance of having a website they are understanding the importance of having a content writer they understand the importance of having a good graphic designer most importantly they also understand the importance of copywriting a social media marketing agency maybe a social media marketing freelancer seo guy or a company that could help them getting their website ranked for their business related keywords on google and other search engines now there is a huge demand for every freelance niche all of a sudden and this is because of the pandemic because i assume people are doing panic buying a report says that there's a huge surge in demand for e-commerce developers same goes for freelancers other walk of life why would you not capitalize on this opportunity so if there was a time to do freelancing regardless of the country regardless of the uh, ethnic color regardless of your religion now is the time folks get started learn a skill it would take you around 2 to 3 months to polish your skill there's so many websites that are offering free courses to learn a computer skill for example in the description of this video you'll find a link to bit degree all you need to do is just click on the link and uh, introduce yourself to hundreds of thousands of free digital courses if you want to spend money you could go to udemy.com learn web development graphic designing and any other skill as far as the main skills are concerned freelancing blogging digital marketing social media marketing i'm going to teach you every single detail if you may want to check the different playlist and i assure you that uh, all the information and education you're going to get it's going to be second to none to any other instructor anywhere on the world that's my promise to you so in the next videos you're going to learn how to set up yourself on different freelance marketplaces by creating your profile start uh, searching for the projects that match your expertise how to bid on the projects how to win the projects how to communicate with clients how to put gig on fiverr you know we just spoke about it how to find work from internet outside marketplaces because marketplaces are the areas are the places where freelance projects are posted but surely there must be many other avenues and yes there are many other avenues where we can find freelance work so are you excited if yes i want you to write in comment and uh hopefully next videos are going to be life changer they're going to teach you something you have never learned before and set up 
a pace nicely in the next couple of weeks for you to learn every single detail about freelancing and how to make money online. I look forward to your participation in the comment section. See ya. Bye-bye.